benefits that we've seen, particularly from data center consolidation, is higher availability. <clears throat> At the Department of State, we took the opportunity to upgrade some of our data centers as we consolidated. I think, um, as maybe you mentioned, Jim, you don't want to take everything and move it from point A to point B and end right. up with something that isn't as good. Right. So the higher availability has been good for consolidation. On the virtualization front, we also have higher availability there as well. Um, the uh, virtual infrastructure is such that if uh, we're now at the point where if a server fails, it'll actually come up on another machine within two minutes automatically. Um, two minutes of downtime is no fun, don't misunderstand me, but that's substantially better than it was. The downside side of that is that if we do lose uh, one of the virtual hosts, we lose almost an entire data center right, right. there in one right. shot. So you can see hundreds of machines go down. But uh, higher availability has been one of the big things. Another important component we've gotten from uh, the consolidation is the move toward more centralized management. Some of the stove pipes that have existed, we've negotiated and worked with people. Uh, we have demonstrated that we can manage their applications in a way that's satisfies their service requirements. C centralized management of uh, data centers, centralized management of virtualization is a stepping point forward into better management and to get to the point where we can actually do that application optimization. I see us trying to move up the stack owning the data center, owning the infrastructure applications, then not owning the applications, but owning the services that they need in order right. to rationalize. Right. 